Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video, thanks once again for clicking on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review channel. The subject of today's video is the Scribo Feel Verde Bosco Fountain Pen. brand was established in the year 2016. The founder is a dude named Luca Baglione. Luca Baglione is a 43-year-old man who was deeply infected with a fountain pen virus back in the year 2005. The carrier monkey at the time was the Omas Milord with an 18 karat gold fine nib. It was that moment that he used the pen that he made the decision to embark on a path to continue the spread of the fountain pen virus. He started his mission by working at Omas. Omas was a brand that was established in the year 1925 by Armando Simoni. Before going out of business in 2016, they held the title for having arguably the best modern flex nib on the market with the extra facible nibs. Unfortunately, between the years 2000 through 2016, the brand underwent several changes in shareholders leading to financial decisions being made that proved detrimental to the company's future. Eventually, after losing millions, the company was forced to liquidate and close their doors. It was in the year 2016. It was right at the fall of the Omos brand that our buddy Luca went the way of Jerry Maguire and took a bunch of Omos employees with him to create the brand Scribo. But it was not as simple as that. Luca recognized that there was more he was destined for than just to make a new pen brand. He recognized that he needed something to make the new brand of pens unique and stand out from all the rest. And what was it that he needed? He needed Omos's old stuff. So he spent huge amounts of money to acquire the tooling to make the nibs that were responsible for the Omos nibs being the champion of modern flex nibs. Once he did that, he and his buddies started to make fountain pens of an all new design. At the end of the year 2018, after two long years of hard work, planning, sacrifice, and risk without a penny to show for it, Scribo released their flagship line of fountain pens called the Scribo Feel. These 12-sided faceted pens were made with the intention of keeping the traditions of fine Italian craftsmanship alive, as well as the art of handwriting using the wealth of rich pen-making history as their vehicle. These pens are all new custom designs and molds with each pen taking nearly a month and a half to make from start to finish. These pens are sold direct to retailers right out of Italy, and the brand has chosen not to sell their pens via distributors. This year, the year 2019, the brand released another addition to the line with the Scribo Feel Verde Bosco. Translated from Italian, Verde Bosco means green wood. That's all I have for the background information. Moving on to the neutral zone. Those elements that are neither good or bad, or can be good or bad, depending on you. In the past 10 years, dozens have become infected by the fountain pen virus. Researchers say that subscribers to Penboy Roy's YouTube channel have a 1 in 3 chance of contracting the virus. If left unchecked, we may have an epidemic on our hands. As anyone with the fountain pen virus would know, the symptoms can be brutal. Spending untold sums of money on gold nibs, soliciting nibmeisters, ink hoarding, FOMO for limited edition pens. The remedy, shop at Gold Spot Pens. Side effects may include saving money, peace of mind that your pens and ink will arrive safe and sound, smiling from talking with our customer service team, and joy in receiving your brand new writing instruments from world-class brands. You can't control the fountain pen virus outbreak, but you can get relief today by visiting goldspot.com. The nib is approximately a number six size 14 karat gold nib made with proprietary specifications for Scribo by the nib manufacturer Bach. The nib is engraved with lines on the shoulders with the tagline, feel the flex and Scribo under the breather hole. Under that is the gold content stamping and to the side of that is an EF to indicate that this is an extra fine. The feed is a custom hand cut ebonite feed. The nib and feed are friction fit into a proprietary unscrewable nib unit housing and screws into a tapered faceted grip section that has a gold ring at the tip. 
The grip has thin threads that are used for capping followed by a rather substantial step where the polishing of the facets are visible and are rather smooth and soft so that when and if encountered are not uncomfortable. The barrel of the pen is made of turned acrylic finished with 12-sided facets and has a bulging design. It tapers to a gold ring that separates the barrel from the faceted and tapered piston knob used to fill the pen. The end of the piston knob is rounded and polished with the end being flat. The flat end is subtly engraved with Scribo Italy. I've clocked this pen's ink capacity at one full milliliter at maximum capacity. The cap is made of the same acrylic as the barrel, sharing the same bulging 12-sided faceted design. The finial is a gold dial that has the logo of the brand, a feather atop a striated background. The clip is a simple clip that bears a wave shape in the design. The clip is attached with an L bracket and has a moderate amount of tension with a springy and bouncy feel when pulled. The clip turns up at the end, making sliding into pockets easier and has a chiseled angled end. The center band is a simple wedding band style center band with Scribo on the front, feel the writing on the rear, and striations on the side. The engravings on this pen were done using pantograph as opposed to laser engravings. The cap screws and unscrews in exactly one full rotation. This pen is not designed to be posted. The pen was packaged in an unbranded outer royal blue cardboard sleeve. Slide that off and you have a flip open box, the exact same color, with the brand and tagline on the top. Also included with the box are instructions, warranty, and brand literature. Flip open the box and you reveal the contents wrapped in paper, sealed with a sticker that says, once again, Scribo feel the writing. Unwrap that paper and you uncover a cotton handmade two pen sleeve rolled in a leather strap. Unroll the sleeve and you have two pen pockets made of leather sewn into the fabric. In one of the two leather pen pockets is your new Scribo pen. On the opposite side of the pen pockets is another single leather pocket that has Scribo feel the writing stamped on it and contains a microfiber cloth in a plastic envelope. That would you believe it? reads, Scribo feel the writing on it. That's all I have for the neutral zone. Moving on to the good. Those elements about the pen that are good. I have used the Omos Extra Flexibles in the past. I don't currently own one, but to the best of my recollection, there is little difference in comparison when it comes to the performance of the Scribo Feel writing experience. This is to little surprise, being that the tooling and manufacturing techniques used to make the Scribo Flex Nibs are identical as the Omos. This is a good thing. I found that this is, in my experience, the best out-of-the-box flex nib on the market and currently available to date. The feed is no slouch when it comes to keeping up with the ink flow and volume of ink that the nib acquires when really pushing the line variation. Does it starve here and there? Maybe. I wouldn't call it starving, though. If it ever did railroad, it only did so after a good amount of flex writing and very quickly recovered. I'm talking in a matter of less than a second. The nib is also very soft and bouncy. Writing with it is a lot like what you would imagine writing with a feather feels like, only made of gold. It doesn't take much pressure at all when you really want to express more ink and really broaden the line. I can get this nib to go from an extra fine line to a line that's about 1.5 millimeters rather easily without feeling like I'm about to spring the tines. After doing that, the nib springs back rather quickly and easily and resumes writing without any issues. Having said that, Still use caution as no nib is impervious to springing. To date, I have to say that this is the closest thing on the market to a vintage full flex pen. Although not quite fully a wet noodle, it comes as close as you can get outside of getting a custom flex nib from Linda Kennedy at Independence or from Richard Binder. As a non-flex normal use writer, it's well-tuned and adjusted. It's smooth and glides across paper, never catching or feeling scratchy. The feed keeps the nib wet and as slick as bikini models mud wrestling. It must be said that normal writing does take a good degree of control, as the nib will vary the line width even with the slightest degree of pressure applied. Talking about the balance, the grip is a rather long grip and I found the pen to be very comfortable to write with. Even in the event where I was really holding far up with my grip and encountered the threads or the step, it was not in the least bit uncomfortable. When it comes to the pen being unposted, I typically like to leave my pens unposted when writing, but usually don't like it when a pen is not postable because I like to have the option. However, in the case of this pen, the length and balance of it unposted is so good, I don't foresee it being any more comfortable even if the pen were postable. So it's forgivable. It sure is a girthy pen and holds its own unposted. As for the aesthetics of the pen, I love the acrylic. It's certainly a beautiful green acrylic 
that is deep and rich, with different shades of green swirls accentuated by the facets as light reflects off the surface, creating changing depths and vibrancy. It has super fine sparkles densely embedded into the acrylic and creates an even more complex look that is mesmerizing and hypnotic. I find that the use of this acrylic to be a way more interesting choice than the initial release of Scribo Fields in 2018, which were just dark navy blue and light royal blue. Another noteworthy mention in the aesthetics department are the facets. Whether it comes to the piston knob or the cap, the facets are always lined up. I think that's an important nuance and a good attention to detail on part of the designers. The build quality isn't too shabby either. Tolerances are precise. Everything feels solid and tight. Nothing wiggles or creaks. The pen feels sturdy and well-made. It seems that every consideration was given to the pen, not just in performance and build, but also in its presentation. I like the way the pen was presented with it being wrapped in paper. It reminds me of when my wife buys a really high-end purse and the repurposed cow was wrapped in paper inside the box it came in, the same way my new Scribo was. And of course, I can't forget to mention the included pen roll. It's a well-made pen roll. It's also handmade with what I view to be very good quality stitching. Everything about this pen, and specifically the way it writes, is on point and screams high-end luxury Italian craftsmanship. There is nothing about this pen that would give anyone the impression that it was anything but an expensive luxury pen. And speaking of expensive, moving on to the bad. Let's talk coin. A whole lot of it. This pen has an MSRP of $760. This is the price that this pen is available for at limited retailers here in the United States such as Goldspot Pens, where I bought mine. This is the price that is allowed to be advertised and not a penny less as per the Scribo brand. Now, as much as I love this pen, it is really expensive. Now, I'm in no way stating that the pen is not deserving or compensatory of the cost involved. What I am saying is that the cost is so far outside a lot of people's budgets that it's sad to think that more people will miss out on the wonders that this pen offers than people who will be able to enjoy it. Everything about making this pen is costly, from the nib, to the custom ebonite feeds, to the Italian acrylics, to the faceted designs, to the custom molds, to cost of manufacture, to the boxing, the shipping, etc. But it's a lot, which is why the brand chose to avoid the use of distribution, which would require the need to add profit margin for distributors, thereby increasing the cost even more. Again. With the way it writes and the quality of the pen, it deserves to pull a pretty penny, as it's truly unique in its ability to perform. But it's just a shame that the Scribo is the answer to the great modern day full flex nib pen that most people won't have the ability to access. At least there is a hint of good news. Although retailers like Goldspot are mandated to list this pen at the price of $760, that's not to say there isn't room for a nice discount. I would think if you called them and spoke to them on the telephone, the possibility of getting a solid discount that could make this pen more of a reality for you is highly likely. Just saying. That's all I have for the bad. Moving on to the ugly. Those elements about the pen that should not be, but are. When I first saw this Verde Bosco version of the Scribo feel, I just had to have one. The acrylic was so deep and beautiful, so in terms of aesthetics, there isn't much to say in regard to the ugly. When it comes to performance, it is aces. Everything I write results in coworkers making comments like, Who wrote this, Benjamin Franklin? As I said before, this is the best flex nib pen out of the box on the market today. In regard to the build and quality control, this pen stands among the finest of the finest. Absolutely no complaints. So, in regard to the ugly, nothing here to see. That's all I have for the ugly. It's high noon. Decision making time. Should you or should you not pull the trigger on the Scribo Feel Verde Bosco fountain pen? This pen is, as I said before numerous times, the best modern day solution for vintage flex pens out of the box currently available on the market today. It performs with virtually no issues and is made with the most meticulous attention to detail and quality. Everything about this pen, other than a few o-rings and the screw used under the finial, are entirely new in design and custom made to have an identity that is original and unique. I really love it. Buying it was a good call for me. But that's for me. I would have to say, if you're not really into flex writing, if flex writing is not an integral part of your fountain pen usage, or you don't care for a pen that is this thought out in terms of its nuances and loyalty to the art of fine luxury Italian pen making, hold off on this pen and don't pull the trigger. 
it's quite a pretty penny. On the flip side, if you are into flex writing and want to experience a soft gold flex nib that is the solution to vintage flex in today's day, this is a pen that cannot be missed. Do whatever it takes. Quit beer, quit smoking, pack lunches, whatever. Just save up and make this pen happen. The performance is fantastic and you won't regret its capabilities. If you're that kind of person that loves flex, pull the trigger on this pen. That was my review of the Scribo Feel Verde Bosco Fountain Pen. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.